Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London. As you can imagine, when Supercar Experiences gave me the call that their Ferrari 458 Italia had arrived and was their latest addition to the fleet, that I was one, very excited, but also two straight down here to check it out. And I'm gonna go through the whole specification, talk to you about all of the bits and pieces that are on this car and what makes it such a stunning spec. We're also gonna be going out for a quick drive in the car, both with me as a passenger and fingers crossed get behind the wheel of the car so that I can uh, find out what it's like at very low speeds basically um, but overall I can't wait to uh, get into this Ferrari 458 I know I see a lot of them on the road but it's very rare that I actually get this up close and personal to it it's one of my favorite cars and definitely a contender for my second supercar so let's check out supercar experiences brand new Ferrari 458 so from the side you will be able to tell or from any angle you will be able to tell that it is a Rosso Corsa Ferrari 458 and it has got a black roof as well which is actually vinyl wrapped rather than come from the factory um, it also has the Scuderia shields which may look as though it's not an option on Ferraris but you actually have to pay for them so keep your eyes out for those that haven't got Scuderia shields on and then as you come down to the wheels they are in Nero gloss black with yellow brake calipers and overall it just adds to the drama of this car. The Ferrari 458 is definitely one of my favorite cars with the Speciale probably just peaking it slightly more. I probably prefer this to the Ferrari F12. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite Ferrari? Obviously, everyone's is gonna be the LaFerrari, um, but in terms of as an everyday car, you really can get away with this, which is why they're so popular in London and why supercar experiences have got their own one now. And Jump in, whoa. This is a lot lower than my car. I'm gonna rest you up here and I'm gonna uh, maybe talk to you about my opinions to the Ferrari 458 against the Lamborghini LP640 Murcielago, which I think when I mentioned in one of my other videos are two cars that are really cl quite close in terms of my second supercar. This would probably be my more sensible option as it's a newer car. Ferrari offer their seven year service package, which is, um, something that I think this car falls into its category as well but it's also just a more usable car because it's newer it's got double clutch gearbox um, and the 20 2013 2014 technology that is in this car is obviously much better than the Lamborghini LP640 Murcielago which is um, essentially a car from 2002 and was updated in 2006 uh, uh, late 2006 so the Murcielago is definitely the non-sensible option it's just so big so wide, so loud, massive 6.5 litre engine, the insurance, the running costs, everything is much, 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 much more expensive than this car. But the Lamborghini is my dream car. The doors go up, it sounds ridiculous, and just the LP640 is the car that I grew up filming. So this is the Ferrari 458 from the inside. And as you can see, it is such a cool place to sit. It's very driver focused. You've got so many um, buttons on the driver's side. You've got the Manatino there, engine start. We've got the uh, suspension dampeners. And then we've also got the indicators on the steering wheel. And then up here, you get the radio, you get the sat nav, you get the revs, which is, um, the rev counter is in yellow. You can also have it in white, red, maybe black. I'm not entirely too sure. And then you also got all of the buttons down here as well to uh, manage the radio and the music. So, like I said, it's very driver focused. The only thing that the passenger really has access to is putting it in auto, putting it in reverse, and the launch control, which is probably the most important button on the Ferrari 458. <laughs> I'm joking. Although in the 458, it is very good because it's got a dual clutch. Um, the clutch life is much better than launches in, let's say, the Ferrari 430, the Ferrari Enzo. I think in the Enzo, it lasts two launches. Not too sure. But overall, I absolutely love this car. This is definitely a car that I would love to own. But right now, it's time to experience it as part of supercar experiences.
makes my really makes my stomach go. The accelerations in my far yeah, can't even talk. The accelerations in my <laughs> That's what you call hijacking a sentence. It's so good. So what I was saying before I was completely hijacked by the Ferrari's V8 and interrupted was that the accelerations that I get in my car, they don't really do that much to my stomach. 420 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in around 4.7 seconds, whereas this, it's around 570 brake horsepower, 560, 570 brake horsepower, and you really feel it. We've got an Aston Martin there. Car spotting from a Ferrari. So now it's my turn to get behind the wheel. I've driven a Ferrari 458 at Long Cross Proving Ground Track and now I'm in Supercar Experiences Ferrari 458 Italia. We've been given special access to this road to be able to uh, put it into first gear and allow me to drive it because as you know from a couple of the last few videos that I did, I'm too young to get insured on public roads. So I'm not gonna go, well, the valve's already opening up. I can't go too fast. It's just an idea to get used to the double clutch gearbox. But to let you guys know, I'm not gonna push this car. We've been lucky enough to have access to this road and we're not gonna be going over any sort of stupid speeds. And like I said in uh, videos that I do with the Watford Audi, I don't wanna end up in a bush in a car that isn't mine. So this is just me trying to get a feel for the car. It eats the tarmac up really quickly, and I'm doing like 20% throttle. first impressions of driving this car is it's just so easy to get used to the paddles are there where you want them to be they're huge so wherever your hands are over the steering wheel they don't actually turn with the steering wheel like the McLarens do but that doesn't really matter the fact that they're carbon fiber as well is a really cool touch so the accelerator very easy to use very sort of instant and direct and the valves are really cool it depends on what mode you're in as to when the valves open up. Every single person looks at you when you're driving past, which I'm kind of used to now, even in the Audi R8. It's not a sort of as eye-catching as a red Ferrari, but it's still pretty cool. Being behind the wheel of a Ferrari 458, the steering wheel is such an odd shape to look at, but when you've got your hands around it, you realize that it's actually designed to be held like a race car which obviously Ferrari building quality track cars. <laughs> Those crackles are ridiculous. <laughs> and uh... And the great thing is with this car as opposed to let's say the Lamborghini LP640, the Lamborghini LP560 is because it's a double clutch, the, the clutch lifespan is so much longer and you can freely go up and down gear changes and not really worry about whether when you're gonna be having to spend on a new clutch replacement. Whereas the Lamborghinis, they're notorious for being quite bad in terms of clutch life. concentration face and then you get my excited face after I've done it and I feel like a kid what an 
amazing experience to get behind the wheel of this car. All of the different views that you get from sitting in the Ferrari, you get a fantastic wing mirror look at the rear wheel arch. If you're driving at slow speeds as well, you get a good view of what colour wheels you're driving on. Obviously this car's got black, and then from the passenger side you get reminded that you're on a 458 Italian, but it's just a very, very nice touch. And all along here, as we've got leather and white stitching, you get the Ferrari Formula One heritage right there. And then the view across, you get the sweeping bonnet. And then out the back, you've got the engine. advantages to having a Ferrari 458. Every single person that I know that's had one, owns one, drives one or has driven one says it's one of the best cars I've ever driven and I know why. <laughs> fantastic sounding go-kart and I think on that note is the best way to end this video I hope you guys have enjoyed um, me chilling out in supercar experiences Ferrari 458 Italia and I'll put all of their links and descriptions well in the description box below as uh, you guys have got to check them out <laughs> I've done a couple of videos with them before with their Lamborghini and Aston Martin but this is their best car <laughs> I'm trying to ruin my video. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.